I'm Dr. Jay Sordian, working on your brain without having to take it out of the skull with NRCT. All right, uh, let's talk a little bit about meningeal compression. So here we have a model of a skull, person's skull. We're going to remove the top of the skull here, the bones. Remove the top, which is the protective, the protective layers of the skull help to protect the brain. Inside, here you can see the brain. Around this is both fluid to help cushion the brain, and we also have what are called meninges. So I'm going to take the brain out here. And surrounding the brain, going inside each of the crevices, everywhere, all around the brain stem, we're going to take this apart here. I'm going to pull this brain apart. This is not really a real brain. This is a model brain. So here we have cross section of the brain. You can see here the brain stem, the thalamus, which goes inside of this, which is all called the neocortex or the cerebrum. Then down here we have the cere cerebellum cerebellum here, which is in the back and helps coordinate our activities. This is the area of thinking and interpretation of messages. And all of those messages come in through our sight, our hearing, our nose, our taste, and feelings all pass through, initially in through the brain stem. So the brain stem is the primary location that we get our information then it's distributed to the other parts of the brain in order to coordinate our activity or to remember things and to compare what we've already learned and then based on that we can interpret and send messages back out the brainstem down the spinal cord and to all the parts of the body so that we can get the messages and do what we need to do based on what we received here and then interpreted here and sent back in through here down through the spinal cord. Now when we talk about neurologic relief center technique, we are talking about the meninges and undoing any torquing, undoing any kind of tugging that is going on on the meninges in particular pivotal areas in the brain. Now again, through all the parts of the brain, all these in fissures, the three layers of the meninges surround and go inside in all the different aspects, all the crevices of the brain. They also, it also goes around each of the cranial nerves, the nerves, the optic nerve, the one that goes out this way and connects in with the eyeballs. The nerves that control the muscles of the eyes, oculomotor nerves, also surrounds the vagus nerve, which has a strong influence on our stress reactions, on our digestive system, on our breathing, on sweat responses. So these meninges, three layers, surround all parts of the brain. It also helps to provide a cushion for the brain and because it surrounds and captures both the blood and the cerebral spinal fluid which flow between the layers and then permeate the brain, these uh, meningeal layers have a huge, huge influence on the ability of the brain to get cerebral spinal fluid and to get the nutrients it needs and the oxygen it needs through the bloodstream. It is also part of the blood-brain barrier as it's called which is a barrier between the brain and the external environment and the viruses, the bacteria, etc., which we do not want to impact our brain. We do not want infection in the brain. And so the blood-brain barrier is a key component of the protection that we have. So if the meninges are torqued in any particular way, we can get a decrease in the flow of cerebral spinal fluid to any part of the brain. It could be the brain stem, 
Could be the thalamus. Could be the cerebrum. It could have an influence on our breathing. It could have an influence on smell, sight. It could have an influence on our interpretation. It could cause brain fog. So this is why it's very, very important for us to remove any constriction in the meninges that may be going on causing a decrease in function in our brains. This is why in doing the neurologic relief center technique I say I'm working on your brain but I don't have to do it outside the skull. So we don't have to open the skull in order to work on your brain. Dr. J. Sordium at the Berkeley Neurologic Relief Center wishing you a great day of clarity and good thoughts.